Okay, as a lot of you already know, I am clearly a huge fan of Stray Kids, right? But I wouldn't call myself a super fan like a lot of you guys are. I'm not a person who knows every single member and knows every single thing about them. I consider myself a casual, if you will. So I think today is finally the day. It's been enough time. I've heard enough songs to where I finally need to watch a guide. I need to learn a little bit about them. I need to make sure I know everybody's name and who everyone is. I mean, obviously, I know Bang Chan. I know Felix. Um, I know, like, there's I.N. I believe there's one Su um, 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 Lee No. For the most part, I have an idea. However, I don't know a whole lot of the ins and outs. I don't know too, too much about personalities. And um, I definitely don't know about like backgrounds and backstories. So this is the guide that everyone told me to check out. As you can see, it says, hi, everyone. Before we start, please note this guide contains lots of spoilers. Matter of fact, matter of fact, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me see if I can find one spoiler free so I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are Stray Kids? Formed through a survival slash reality TV show from JYP Entertainment in 2017 called Stray Kids. Stray Kids officially debuted as a nine member group on March 25th, 2018 and transitioned to an eight member group in October 2019. Now, this is one thing that I did hear about. I heard that there was some type of survival show or a reality show. However, I didn't know that this like the show was created to create the group. That's actually really cool. What is this called? Is this something that I can find and watch somewhere? Cuz uh if so, I would love to check that out. I'm sure that was probably lit. And um I did also hear that there was a ninth member, right? I heard there was a ninth and uh, I never really, I never really heard what happened though. What happened to this uh, infamous ninth member? Is it? Why do I say infamous? Like it's bad. Maybe he just wanted to do something else. I don't know. So let me know that. Hopefully it goes into detail about that. Probably will. But okay, this is a good start. That's a good start. The fan base is stay. Stray kids everywhere, all around the world. You make stray kids stay. Already knowing. Wanting to try a new method to form their next group, JYPE chose a trainee named Bang Chan. Shout out to him. Hey, if y'all don't know, he shouted out my channel. That's my guy. That's my guy right there. Um, who had a lot of potential in a longer than most trainee period and allowed him to select his own members to debut with. Oh, so, so he got the choose and hand pick. That's that's tough. The idea was to form a team without company intervention, allowing the members to form a natural and believable band instead of throwing people together and hoping they would work. I agree 100 percent. I'm sure that would work a lot better for sure. As the chosen leader, Bang Chan was to be in charge of everything from making their own music to tra to training the team. After several challenges and two members almost being permanently eliminated, Stray Kids successfully debuted with all of the members originally chosen. Nice. Nice. I'm digging this music y'all put on here, though. <laughs> A kid was leading kids. Not nah, really. And I like how honest and, and transparent he was about that. Like, you could tell they kind of have that vibe and relationship with each other to where he's like, you know, at first I was like... Like, what the heck? He was really bold. He really scolded us. He, he had to really kind of make sure we were the right fit for each other, which, again, you got to do that. That's the life of a trainee, like he was saying. That's tough. Widely considered an all-arounder group, Stray Kids no longer has fixed positions such as main dancer and main vocal or main rapper. This is because each member can genuinely do every role. It's, that's true. However, some members are more focused on or more well-known for certain skills. This is where their subunits come in. I like that too. I, I've never really been a huge fan of like main dancer, main vocal, unless there really is just one person who sticks out that much or that superior. I um, I, th I think it is better if like, okay, why not for this performance or this song, so-and-so can be the main dancer or for the different one, a different person could be the main, you know what I mean? Um, Stray Kids has three subunits, three racha, love three racha, dance racha and uh, vocal racha. Of the three, three racha is the only officially named and credited group. Dance Racha and Vocal Racha were fan named, but because of their popularity, even the group uses those names to refer to themselves. Even the Racha subunits don't fully categorize them. The rap line, most frequently rap, most frequent rappers consist of Chang Bin, Han, and Hyunjin, and Felix. The vocal line, most frequent vocalists are Sunjimin, IG, Bang Shen, Han, and Lee No. Han has always had equal parts in both. Of course, he's very versatile. Love him, love him. I didn't know, like, uh, Vocal Racha wasn't official, though. I didn't know that wasn't, like, an actual thing. Three Racha started as a pre-debut underground rap unit, posted their self-written and self-produced music to SoundCloud and performing and showcases together. Now, these same three members... You know, team oh, oh, see, see, I, I tried to do it. Y'all see, I tried to do it without pausing. Um, now, these same three members are 
the producing unit for all of Stray Kids disco- discography. Damn, I mean English, bro. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see throughout this how how difficult it is to like read and try to think about like stuff to say at the same time because i'm gonna sit here and fumble over my shit but yeah y'all, y'all rocking with me y'all rocking with me shout out to you uh thanks to three Ra- three racha stray kids almost entirely makes their own music they occasionally partner with other producers for certain tracks and sometimes lyricists for translation purposes such as japanese releases wow that's awesome again more stuff that i just didn't know that's super cool in our team there is a producing team called three racha hands up three racha hey. so it's me changbin and han we always try our best to really uh, mix in our opinions and uh, we really you know, put our heads together to make a really great song. And uh, since we've debuted, all our songs have been made by us. So we're pretty wow. proud that of that. That is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so impressive. As the name suggests, the three members of Dance Racha keep a heavy focus on dancing and have a hand in helping design choreo for the group. However, unlike with their music, Stray Kids is not a self-choreographed group. They work with choreographers and the dance teachers for their stages. Dance Racha members are usually featured in solo dances for group. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I, I get the point. Among fans, Dance Racha is often considered the visual line of the group. Uh, they partner with Intro and the Unisex Sneakers. Yeah, 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 yeah. We already know. We already know. Lee No, Hyunjin, Felix. Of course, of course, of course. Hyunjin is, oh, he's such a smooth dancer, man. He really is. I always enjoy watching his performances. Same with the other two as well, but Hyunjin, he, he really stands out to me. He's such a good dancer. I haven't seen this yet. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. Finally, Vocal Racha is formed by two youngest members in Stray Kids. Both members can rap, can do rap, <laughs> but their singing tones are both so distinct and powerful that their vocals stand out from the rest. Shout out to Vocal Racha, man. I feel like they're, they're like the glue that puts a lot of songs together. Mm. <laughs> Free debut, elevator, yup. District 9, have I heard that? My Pace, I Am You. Have I heard all these? Definitely heard Moreau, That's, that was fire. Side effects, I'm not sure. Definitely heard uh, Levanter, for sure, for sure, that was fire. God's Menu, I mean, of course, that's the first full album, dang. Uh, Backdoor, definitely heard that. All In, first Japan album. Hmm. Interesting. Um, In Life was repackaged. Go Live and God's Menu, okay. Uh, wow, and that was the first one to reach 100 million views. No Easy. No Easy, what one did I hear on that? Thunderous? I feel like I heard another one, too. But on that one, they become the first JYP artist to sell more than a million copies worldwide. Damn. Damn. Christmas Evil, wow. Christmas Evil, I heard that for the first time. First place on Music Bank despite no, dang, no music show promotions at all, okay. I haven't heard 2021 joint with the title song, nope. Uh, nope. Nope, Maxident, I'm not familiar with Maxident though. And Circus, I think I heard some some of those songs as well, so. Again, I, I don't know, I'd have to go back and revisit. Member profiles, let's get it. Bang Chan, my dog. Like I said, ever ever since ever since he shouted me out, I have had such a just like I feel like a, a a different type of just respect and feel for him. Again, he took the time out of his day to stop and and say, yeah, like KKP, like he really said it. I really said my channel name in front of that many people. I was like, I, I didn't believe it almost. When people were like, hold on. Who did anyone else come for um from the V Live? Did anyone else come from Bang Chan? I was like, wait, what? Y'all are y'all are lying, y'all are trolling. I had some DMs. People were like, yo, I'm telling you, Bang Chan just shouted you out, bro. He just he just talked about your channel. I said, Y'all are lying. Someone sent me the clip. Someone sent me the clip. And um, yeah, once they sent me the clip, I was like, wow, this is pretty freaking insane. Shout out to him, man. But that also goes to show that they really are like watching a lot of these reactors and stuff too so that that just makes me feel good too to to where i'm not only like i'm not only speaking to the people who who just like their music videos and, and the, the people who are fans and the rest of the fellow stays but if i'm saying something it could possibly be heard by them you know what i mean it, it, it goes a long way it really does this video is gonna be three hours long if i don't if I don't kind of get through it. Christopher Chan, Chan Chani. Yup, the wolf. 
grew up in Australia. Wait a minute, did I know that? He was 13 when he, wow, dang. 13 when he passed an audition. He moved to Korea, become a trainee. Got his first taste producing, yep. Zero. Hold on, hold on. Former Ranger Yep, 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 yep. Okay, 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 okay. So he's very experienced. He's been doing this for a while. Is there a real fear that you might not debut? Yes, there is. Because, um, I don't know. It's probably different for a lot of companies. But, um, uh, I guess when, from companies, companies' opinion, um, if they think you don't have the potential anymore, they could just... Yeah, they can just yeah. cut you out and, right. like, you know, we don't think you're going to get anywhere and they can say bye-bye. There was a time when, um, for me, for me, I had a lot of, um, you know, people that I was close to. But then, uh, besides just me, everyone else just did not make it. And I was Man. alone for quite a while. And that's when, you know, like a lot of thoughts came in. And, Slump. yeah, I, ha I was in, like, a very dark stage of my time. And it was pretty hard. Mm. But... Getting through all that, um, I know it got my mindset to get a bit more clear, clearer. Um, these boys came in and, yeah, they basically yeah. saved me. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's true. Literally everything he said was true too. That was that's all facts. So I, I like that he acknowledged that. I can also really hear that Australian accent kind of kicking in too. And once he's once I actually sat and listened to him talk for a little while, and it also makes more sense too to why he can speak. English so well. I know that uh, Felix is from Australia. I did know that fact, but I didn't know about Bang Chan also. Um, his family is very supportive. Nice, nice. He participated in a TV show. Cool. He has a younger sister and brother. Um, he was a very talented swimmer prior to becoming a trainee. Nice, nice. And he likes to play other instruments like the ukulele, piano, guitar. Cool. I'm gonna try to push through this a little bit. It's gonna be so long. Chan's room, the V live stream. Yeah, mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> the tortoise and the hair. Woo! Stay's got taste. <laughs> Some more heat. <laughs> the tortoise and the hair is a bad song. <laughs> I mean, well, it was really, really experimental. It had a really big impact, yeah, that's what it had. And um, yeah, it was really, really experimental. That's why I guess people, you know, might not really like but it. But how many people but, um, loved it? Yeah, Talk about that. Completely, completely understandable. But <laughs> I'm still gonna play it anyway. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's whoa. Okay, okay. The line of that, the, the one line that stuck out to me, he tries to downplay himself by giving himself less lines in their music and thus less attention, preferring to let his members shine. Mmm. Mmm. That just speaks volumes, man. He wants his boys to eat. He wants his boys to do well and get more love and shine and attention. Usually it's the opposite. Usually people are trying to be the one person who's trying to be extra and get in camera more. They're trying to be the person who says one or two more lines so their their part it has more content than the other person. But he's doing the opposite. That goes a long way, man. It speaks volumes about his personality and about his character in general. Oh, he was on that. Oh, uh, okay. Dang, he was on that. Dang. Lino, Lino. <laughs> Lee Mino. Rabbit. Got you, got you, got you. Fastest show. Oh my gosh. To complete the dance class. Two weeks. Sheesh. Okay, so he, he, yeah, he did that. He, he speed ran, <laughs> he speed ran JYP's basic dance class. Come on, man. Who else is doing that? <laughs> wow. He really plays that role. Very serious, takes the role seriously, yup. His dance skills weren't only natural, he, but he had a long resume as a professional before he joined, yup. Yup. So yeah, he's been doing this. 
어떻게 두 분은 JYP 연습생으로 시작하게 되신 거죠? 저는 원래 춤을 췄어가지고 댄스 대회를 나갔다가 어. JYP에서 연락이 와가지고 한번 오디션을 보게 됐는데 이제 연락이 또 두절된 거예요. 그래서 어, 떨어졌구나 싶어가지고 이제 댄스 생활을 하고 있었는데 음. 근데 그러다 이제 몇년 뒤에 다시 연락이 와가지고 오. 한번 해보지 않겠냐고 오. 해가지고 들어오게 됐습니다. Hold on, y'all. Yeah. This thing right here is getting kind of loud. Let me turn it off. Okay. Now, actually, I did see this somewhere. He's a second degree black belt in Taekwondo and Hapkido. He boxes and he also studied to be a martial arts instructor. Dang. Um, I can't remember exactly what video it was, but he did some crazy kick. And I was like, dang, like that looked like a wild kick. Like that looked like some shit out of a movie. <laughs> and um, someone uh, kind of told me that his martial arts background was pretty legit. So that's that makes sense. That makes sense. He also spent time as a backup dancer for BTS. Wow. See, he appeared in music videos and went on tour with them also. That's crazy. Dancing made him realize that he really wanted to be the main character on stage. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can only imagine, man. When you're doing it at that high of a level, eventually that time will come. I heard that Lino was born in BTS. Yes, really. He was in fire. Wow. He can cook. He rescued cats. <laughs> nice. He's a man of the end. What did he say at the bottom? I only read the first one. Oh. <laughs> 또눈눈눈눈 눈, 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 눈 확대 눈 확대 저거 저거 살기 같은 놈 저거 뭔 소리야 이게 예전 같은 놈이 어디 있다고 Savage and weird personality interesting that's pretty funny okay so they'll they'll mess with him and then run away <laughs> wow his reputation hides a heart of gold nice nice Oh wow, so he really is just all around just a good soul. Again, such a different respect for him now. This is why I'm doing this video. This is why. Chang Ben. Ben Benny, Chang Benny. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Known for his clever wordplay and lyrics. Yeah, he 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 definitely does that. <laughs> One of the best rappers in K-pop for sure. Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a crazy stat. He's incredibly fast. Timed at about 11.3 syllables per second, but maintains very clear diction and has creative flows regardless of the beat. Um, Wow. I, again, I remember someone commented that to me, something about uh, his syllables per second, but I couldn't remember exactly what that stat was. That's crazy. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Regardless of the beat. <laughs> so you're telling me that he was literally just focused focused on dancing and vocals. He had no intention on rapping. And all because of, see, that's why you, like, don't ever hesitate to give someone advice. It could be the advice that changes your life or changes that person's life. A couple weeks ago, I was in the gym and um, an older man actually walked up to me and he was extremely cool. And, you know, we just got to chopping it up and talking. And he was like, like, what do you do? This, that, and the third. And uh, he was actually, he does, he's a, he does radiology. Like, he's a doctor and stuff. And I was like, how did you get into that? And he got to telling me the story. Long story short. One of his heroes at the time when he was a kid, heroes told him that later on in life he should look into that. And he was like, interesting. And um, he, when he traveled somewhere, he saw it somewhere else in like a book or on a commercial or something. He said like that was a sign. And ever since that, he did it all because that one person told him to. 
and it changed his life forever. So don't ever hesitate to get that one person that little bit of advice. And as you can see, if his vocal coach never said something like, oh, your pronunciation is like a rapper. I think you should really just start rapping. He would have never been what he is today. That's insane to me, yo. That's crazy. Don't ever withhold that information from people, man. Yeah. They might need it. I still want my poster. And you definitely got to be such a natural to already be nice like that when you've been studying and focusing on dancing and singing your whole life. Uh, Oh my gosh. Wow. Is you need growling tone, yeah. Aw, gotta love it. Your family's your biggest supporter. Center of the group. Mm. So maybe he's the glue that holds it all together. Mm. Incredibly introspective, but also uncannily observant of those around him. <laughs> and that's usually how it goes, especially whenever a kid is doing something different. I remember like with the YouTube stuff and me kind of getting into my entrepreneurial ventures. My father always supported. He said, just do what you want. But I know that there was other people in my family who were a little skeptical. They kind of weren't understanding what was going on. Uh, they still aren't because, I mean, it's again, it's not like I'm like eating off of this or doing anything too, too crazy. But I could be like, hey, look, I made $10 off a video. And, and they'll be like, oh, wow, you actually can make money doing that. Which, again, it isn't anything crazy. It's not anything significant. But it's it's enough to just show them that like there is possible. So that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, his own stage persona is intimidating. Dark rapper. Machne. Yeah, I've heard about that also. The fake Machne. Oh, oh. Throwing out awful jokes, being the loudest in the room. <laughs> Teaming up with Honda makes the silliest skits and songs he can think of. See? Yeah, I'm gonna have to start checking out some more of the, uh, like, the other content that they're doing. This chair, like, what's going on with you, man? Figure your stuff out. Mama. <laughs> well, mama. What is this? <laughs> they are some fools for that. Hey! He also practiced Taekwondo. Okay, so it could have been him as well. He's bulked up. No, he definitely has. That's one thing that I noticed too, especially in that last clip where I said he looks really young. I almost didn't recognize him because, you know, he kind of has like the, like those little chubby little cheeks. But in that one, he looked much more just slim and just, just younger overall, just younger. He spent time training with us. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, been in that gym. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get back to back to where I was. I lost a lot of weight, y'all. When I got sick, I lost a lot 안녕하세요. of weight. 저는 스트레이 키즈의 현진이라고 합니다. 안녕. 안녕. Hyunjin. Briefly lived in Vegas. Okay. 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 He's recruited in the streets. Wow. Wow. That's interesting. Didn't have any specific background in dance or music before he started. He did have a solid sports background. It just helped his foundation and journey. Yep. Mm-hmm. That sports background will go a long way, y'all. Always put your kids in sports. Gifted swimmer almost going pro. Dang. And he plays soccer. Okay. Big athlete, we see you. Wow. They must be really good with their recruiting because, I mean, like I said, if he was just chilling in a store and he looked and saw him and was like, hmm, nah, I see potential in that one. Like, dang, he knew what he was doing. He picked a star. He's obviously in that position for a reason. <laughs> His visuals have resulted in the nickname Fourth Gen Prince. Nice. Nice. Was criticized for unclear rap pronunciation. To improve, he practiced tirelessly using techniques such as rapping with a pen in his mouth and seeking guidance from rappers like Chang Ben. Wow. Practice room until 5 or later in the morning just to work a little longer. Yeah, it is evident to anyone who watches. 
Wait, what was that last one say? Okay. Let me shot. <laughs> Be a bit dramatic. Photography and painting, cool. Very cool. On. 안녕하세요, 스틸 기사입니다. 원키즈로 배팅. 와. 안지 선. Squirrelio. Spent six years in Malaysia. Wow. Longest friendships. The first stray kid. Oh, I didn't know that. An all arounder. Okay, okay, okay. High speed flows. Interesting. I mean, yeah, he definitely does seem like a, a jack of all trades with the music. Wow. He can hit the female range. I couldn't perform anything on two hours of sleep. He's a bit of an introvert away from the group, really. Hmm. Yeah, he's, I mean, he sounds like me, spending a lot of free time watching anime, K-dramas and movies or random videos or whatever topic he can find on YouTube. I mean, that sounds like KKP to a motherfucking T. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's insane. Again, opportunities, opportunities, man. Some opportunities you just can't have elsewhere. Like he was saying, if he was in Malaysia, it'd be much more difficult for him to make it. And not only that, if it wasn't, if he didn't go, that was the opportunity that his friend kind of pushed him into doing, you know? Possibly wouldn't be there. That's crazy. Crazy. Got his GED. Okay, okay, okay. Handwritten lyrics. Tell me how am I supposed to live without you? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that in the background trying to sleep, though? Like, hey, how am I supposed to carry on? Why is it like that though? Despite being an introvert, he's known as the mood maker of the group. I feel like a lot of the times it's like that, and I really don't know why. Why? Let me know if you know why. Let me know. I feel like I can. Have, I feel like I can have tendencies like that sometimes too, because everyone's always like, "Oh, you're so outgoing. You're so talkative. You're such a people person." But I swear, like when I'm not like around certain groups, I can just, I can just chill. Like I can really just not do nothing. Not only that. Everyone thinks like I always want to be somewhere. Man, what? I be in the house. I be in the crib. Like I was just saying, chilling, watching movies, anime, you name it. So that's just wild to me that 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 people kind of see it like that. You know, it'd it be the situations like that where, damn, like I would have never thought he was the one who, yeah, yeah, you get me, you get me. Um, he has a, <laughs> oh, I've seen this actually. He has a habit of stuffing his cheeks with food, giving him the appearance of a squirrel. I've heard this. Fans of his <laughs> jeekies. <laughs> I've seen this before actually. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this. <laughs> I think I might resonate with him the most. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest, I think I might resonate with him the most. He, he, he's an all-arounder. And he likes to eat. <laughs> that's that's me. That's me, man. That's me. And like I was just saying about the extroverted introvert type of thing. <laughs> and right here is actually where I think I'm going to cut it off to the YouTube people. Yeah, if you want to see the rest of this, the rest of this is going on Patreon along with a lot of other intense heat. I'm really getting the Patreon going. And not only that, now I have a community. I have a whole chat in the Patreon. If you join, you'll be able to talk amongst each other with my peoples, with me. I'm in that joint too. Like, I'm chilling, talking in the whole nine. Why am I still here? I don't know. I'm going to get here. But shout out to y'all for watching. Catch me in the next video. Get on the Patreon, man. I'm got, I got the lit stuff going over there, okay? Exclusive content, opportunities for merch, meet and greets, you name it. And I'm gone. Patreon people, let's get back to it. Come on. Here we go. Come on, get. Come on, get. Oh my, that's <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> Oh,
그 집에 샹들리까지 있다고? 오케이 바로잡아 필릭스 